For the latest from Egypt, we can talk to our correspondent Ado El Makhrui. He's joining us live from Cairo. Thanks for speaking with us, Ado. Uh, tell us how have Egypt's liberal and secular opposition been reacting to this referendum? Well, uh, so far at Tahrir Square, which is the basis or the core for the opposition, where open sit-ins have been here for weeks now, it is quiet. Uh, however, we know that leaders from the opposition uh, who form what is called the National Salvation Front are currently meeting and should announce at a press conference at any time now uh, their plan or their reaction toward uh, the results. Uh, the general sense is they will have a plan of reactions that will be uh, applied in the coming uh, days. Also, they will uh, mark or comment on the violations, if any, uh, they have reported of uh, or seen at the same time. Uh, but generally, there is a sense, uh, we talked to um, their spokesman just before the meeting, and there is a sense of um, a, a solid background that uh, the opposition or the no voters uh, reached almost near 40 percent, 37.3 percent, exactly, or 0.2 percent uh, of the entire population rejected the referendum which in a sense uh, was what they were expecting. They were not expecting that the final uh, results will be uh, rejecting the constitution. They know that it was about how many or what is the part of the public, the Egyptian society rejects the constitution so that uh, they would negotiate about it to see whether there's a consensus on the constitution as the president uh, previously promised during his presidential race. Ado, can you also outline how this new constitution will affect Egypt? What are some of the key points or what are some of the likely next steps? Well, uh, basically the most...